So on this day, I was actually pretty nervous heading out, considering all the forecasts we'd seen pointed towards some high winds and possibly choppy seas. Within the bay, the water was relatively calm. However, once we got offshore, that's when we started to hit some chop. But I really wanted to take these guys out to one of my favorite dive spots. And once we got there and anchored up, it wasn't too bad. So for my first dive, it was more of an exploratory drop. I needed to get our bearings from where we were anchored up. I knew we were maybe about 100 feet off from the ledge, but I still needed to drop down to make sure. I know this video doesn't do the water clarity justice, but while I was there, I couldn't have asked for better visibility in that area. On my second drop, I was able to spot the ledge stretching across the sea floor, and as soon as I dove, I was on the fish. After a few more dives in the area, it was clear that the only legal, good fish in the spot were hogs. Although hogfish are a favorite catch in the Gulf, I'm not particularly a fan of shooting them. They're pretty, but they're also pretty dumb. After grabbing this last one, I decided it was time to pick up anchor and move on to a shallower spot. We moved in a little closer to hit some artificial reefs off of St. Pete. As soon as we dropped into the water, we could tell it was a lot fishier. The gags definitely knew that they were out of season because they were everywhere. I'm actually a fan of diving these public reefs because there's a huge variety of material. Whether it's concrete piles, bridge material, or even army tanks, it's always interesting to see what's down there. At this time, the current had shifted, and what little visibility we had was starting to go away. And with only a couple of hogs in the cooler, it was time to get to work to make sure that everyone went home with some fish. Not a lot of people like Goliaths, but I personally enjoy seeing them. I literally feel like I'm swimming with dinosaurs. Unfortunately, this little guy crossed in front of my shot. It's not something that happens often while spearfishing, but it does happen. Luckily, my shot didn't hit anything vital. So once I carefully removed the spear, he swam off to recover. Unfortunately, it ended up getting swallowed by a grouper. Nah, I'm, I'm kidding. I did suffer from a little barrow trauma though, so I took it as an opportunity to show the guys I was with how to properly vent a fish that's piercing the swim bladder, uh, allowing the fish to swim away uh, without any issues. Hopefully it survived. Thanks for watching. I appreciate the time that you guys are putting in to uh, view my stuff. If you liked it, hit like, uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And if there's any place you want me to try and dive or anything you want to try, want me to try uh, recipe wise or whatever, uh, leave a comment below. And um, other than that, I'll see you next time and dive safe. All right.